Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. <sighs> I did not think <laughs> we were gonna make it to the weekend. I am filming this on Thursday evening. So in my world, I still have an another day to get through, but we're almost there. Uh, it has been a very long week, I feel like, and it started like before 4th of July. So it's just, it, it's been, it's been a very, stressful first couple of weeks or first week and a half of July, but we've made it almost to the weekend. Um, I was supposed to have this video up for you guys on Wednesday. Was it Wednesday or was it Monday? I can't remember. And then I didn't have a video for Monday. I didn't feel like filming it for Wednesday. So you guys got the art dot unboxing, but today we're going to be updating my inventory sheet binders. Now, if you watch my channel somewhat regularly, you have probably seen these a few times. This is not an original idea. I got this specific idea from Lindsay at Emeralds and Fairy Lights. I always try to give credit where credit is due and um I think that this took off once Lindsay shared how she stores her inventory sheets um it is like the perfect way in my opinion so uh thank you to Lindsay for the idea I have had these for gosh two years at this point I, I think it's about two years um and they are perfect I you guys probably see these a lot in my plan my kits with me videos um sometimes i'll pull the sheet out for my kitten chats <coughs> excuse me um but i've kind of <laughs> i haven't been updating them lately but in my defense i haven't been buying diamond paintings lately so some of these have just been sitting around for a while and i didn't realize how bad it got until i filmed my most recent plan my kits with me so these are I call them half binders. I don't actually know what the, okay, so it's like seven by seven by six, seven by 10 roughly. I will see if I can find these on, on Amazon. I got mine on Amazon. I've had these for years. I used to be into like decorative planning. So I used to keep all my kits for weekly spreads and monthly spreads in these little binders. So I had everything I needed to do this. I will say that I have looked at these binders somewhat recently, maybe within the last six months. And I was surprised to see how expensive they had gotten. So if you're thinking about possibly revamping how you store your inventory sheets I would maybe wait until back to school supplies start uh popping up maybe you can catch a sale on them at like Staples or something but I definitely got mine from Amazon and then these are just page protectors uh, I think this is the size that a lot of people use for um Broadway show pamphlets what are they called I was gonna say billboard but I know that's not right playbook playbill playbill for their playbills <laughs> um so anyway that's that I will do my best to find links for you guys um and either put them in my Amazon storefront or just a direct link in the description so you need your binder some page protectors and they do not fit perfectly so you will need some way to cut them you could just use a, a pair of scissors or something like that. I just realized I forgot to grab my extra sheet protectors. So I might need to, to do that. I try to make sure I pull the whole thing when I'm doing a kit, but is there a chance that they are in here somewhere? Yes, we will see. So we have that one. Oh, I also have another kit that I need to grab. So let me <laughs> actually prepare for this video. Let me pause you guys right here for a second. I'll grab some more page protectors. I will grab uh, another inventory sheet that I have and I will be right back. Okay, I think I have everything now. <laughs> and here are the um, sheet protectors. These are measuring at 5.5 .5 by 8.5 inches. Um, so if that's helpful, I got these in a 50 pack. I don't think they were very much, um, 
and they work pretty much perfectly. Like I mentioned, we do have to trim down just a bit. Uh, I do flag the kits that I'm going to work on. Um, like I mentioned, I do my plan my kits with me video and I like to just mark the kits. I assign a color for each month and then I just mark it and I more or less know what I'm looking for when it comes time to pull the kit. So uh, as you have probably noticed, I have two binders. Um, I organized mine in alphabetical order by first name, which is weird and I don't know why I did that. Uh, it's out, it is also how my inventory spreadsheet is laid out. <laughs> I don't know why I did it by first name, but it is what it is. So the first binder is Abraham Hunter to Lisa Francis Judd. Uh, so, you know, I just have all of my sheets. Um, they are organized by artist and then the kits are in alphabetical order within the artist. So I do have a couple of Hannah Lynn, so we will start with this particular binder and I will pull. So we have Autumn Stroll, Summer Nights, and Lady Leprechaun. I don't have too many, um, but I thought it would still be fun to do this together. So let's start with Autumn Stroll, which has a tag on it because I plan to work on this one in September. September sounds right. So what I like to do is I just trim the tiniest amount off of each side. And I just do my best not to hit the actual sticker part. And then this will slide in perfectly like so. And I will put my little green tag back on. So in September, I know what I'm reaching for. So let's do Lady Leprechaun. I kind of like saving up a few kits so I can do them at once because then I, I get to kind of flip through my binders. I pretty much know what kits I have in my stash. I'm pretty good at remembering. Um, but sometimes it's just fun to look through what you have. And this way I don't have to go through and dig out all the boxes for my kits. So the way that I store my diamond paintings, I think I've shown you guys this before, but I am currently in our spare bedroom slash my craft room slash the office. And in here we have my childhood bed, which is called a captain's bed. It's one of those like lifted twin size beds that has like a set of drawers underneath and the set of drawers it doesn't reach all the way to the back of the bed so there's this you know pretty good sized open hollow space that I store my diamond paintings in which is great but to get to them I have to pull the drawers out or pull the whole bed out so <laughs> to be able to just flip through my diamond paintings uh, with the sticker sheets is very, very helpful. And was it last year? I did a diamond painting for my dad's office and I just gave him the binders and he picked out uh, which kit he want, wanted, which was a Chuck Pinson. I think it was Seaside Dreams was the one that I did for him. All right, so first up we have Autumn Stroll. Let's do a little flip through of my Hanlon kits just for fun. So we have Autumn Stroll, Crazy Cat Lady, Dahlia, I love that one. First Snow, Flower Market Girl, Neptune and Triton. This is one that I picked up, um, I think kind of close to when she announced that her and Diamond Art Club were parting ways. I have Lady Leprechaun. That was, I believe, one of the last Hanlon's to be released. Aliana's Otter, of course. I need to work on that diamond painting. And then Summer Nights. I've also completed a few Hanolins. All right, uh, I think the rest of these go in my other binder. If you guys want, I, I know I've been promising you guys a 
stash update. It is coming. <laughs> I promise you it is coming. Um, it just, it's a lot of work. So I'm working on it. But if you guys just want like a binder flip through of my diamond art clip kits, I could do that. That would definitely be something that I could do quicker than a full stash video. Um, but the stash video is on my mind. Uh, now some of these kits have like a lot of white space on the left. So if that's the case, I'll just cut from there. Um, and it fits perfectly. So here's a cat named Poppy. This one is on my list. I will be working on this one in November. I'm very much looking forward to that. I don't know that I've ever done a Peggy Collins. We have, I always get it wrong. I think it's, I don't know if it's Ocelet or Ocelet. <laughs> I said the same thing when I unboxed this kit, which by the way, nobody has ever fessed up to sending me this diamond painting. I don't know where it came from. So <laughs> if you sent it and you're watching, thank you still. I wish you would tell me who you are. <laughs> um, and then I just received another diamond painting from one of my wonderful subscribers. Um, they saw my Diamond Art Club stash video and they had this one in their stash with, I believe, no intention to complete it. So they asked if they could send it to me. And I don't like to name people, like I don't like to call people out or name them in videos just because some people aren't comfortable with that. But I have said thank you in an email and I wanna say thank you again in, oh no, in, you know, public video form. So thank you so much for sending me this kit. I have a coordinating cover minder for this one that I had purchased um, way back in the day. Cause I knew I wanted to add this to my stash and I just never did. So thank you so much for sending me this kit. I have a couple of Micah Jelena's that I have not worked on. So I'm very much looking forward to working on one of those at some point. I'm thinking, I'm gonna make a Micah Jolina a priority in 2025. So, fingers crossed. And then we have Sea Queen by Sarah Mustafa. Slip that one in. I do have a Dreamer Designs here as well as an Oraloa. I've been keeping my Dreamer design since they switched to these sheets. I just have them in the front <laughs> of my binder here. I have kind of been contemplating getting another binder and putting in, like having a non-Diamond Art Club one uh, because, you know, I have the Oraloa kits now. So I have old Jaffa port. These ones are really big. They're like full <laughs> binder size sheets. So I folded this one in half. I must have kept the other ones in the boxes, but I think I might put Oraloa and Dreamy Designs in their own separate binder. I don't know, but also I'm trying to not buy as many diamond paintings. So do I need to add another, <laughs> another binder? I just don't know. All right, so we have a few here to put away. Let's start with... Micah Jelena. Oh my gosh, opened right up to it. So my only other Micah Jelena, I think, is Adeline. I love that one. I think these are both squares. Willa is definitely a square. Yeah, they are both squares. We have Sandra Winther. Do I have from Sandra Winther? I have Red Riding Hood and Winged Princess. I've already completed a kit from this artist. And then we have Sarah Mustafa. I think this one was called Coral. Something happened with my sticker sheet for this diamond painting. I think it, it, I either didn't get one or it came to me bent. Yeah, it's called Coral. And Diamond Art Club just sent me like the color thing and I printed it out. We have Daydreaming, I love that one. 
Longing, Snow Queen, okay, and Sea Queen. I had wanted to get to Sea Queen this year, it just didn't happen, unfortunately. And then we have Peggy Collins, which I don't think, wait a second, LM, okay, so I put Puffy Gator as Nana Key. L-M-N-O-P. No, I do not have another Peggy Collins. Have I completed? Oh, I think Gem Under the Sakura was a Peggy Collins. I think that's why I had that in my brain. So that is, I think, now I'm like looking around trying to see <laughs> if I have any other sticker sheets anywhere, but I think that's everything. So... Yeah, should we do a quick little, should we do a quick little flip through? I don't want this video to be too short for you guys. Let's do, you know what? Let's do a quick little flip through. I'll just give you guys a little taste of my stash. So we have some Abraham Hunters. Oh gosh, maybe I should keep it this way. Tabby Knight. I love that one. Green Eyes. Pink Mermaid. I've had this one for a long time. <laughs> I've completed another one by this artist. We have Holiday Visitors, which is unfortunately discontinued. Oh, these are all my Chuck Pinsons. Get ready. A Beautiful Day in Cirque Terry. A Moment on Memory Lane. Hopefully there's not too much glare. Brookside Retreat. Call of the Wild. Christmas at Town Square. I should do that one this year. Hope Runs Deep. <laughs> I told you guys I had a lot of Chuck Pinsons. Inspiration of Spring Meadows. Island Time, On Golden Shores, Relaxing on the Farm. Ooh, a round Chuck Pinson. That one might go on the list. Uh, sea Breeze Trail, Seize the Day. Share the Outdoors is on my list for September, I believe. It does have a green tag. Skating by Twilight, Spring Mountain Majesty, Strength Along the Journey, my sister liked that one. The Bluebird Song, The Golden Valley, The Governor's Party, which this is uh, the Governor's Mansion in Williamsburg, Virginia, which is fun fact where I was born. The Sweet Life, The Way I Used to Be, Treasures of the Great Outdoors, uh, When Time Moves Slower, I do like this one. It is around also. That one might be pretty fun to do in the spring of next year. We have Winter's Oasis. I have big plans for this one. I've seen some people um, put like lights on the Christmas tree in the window and I would like to do that when I complete this one. We have Woodland Oasis, another pretty one. Oh, that one's around too. I have more round chucks than I thought I did. Uh, Cloud Runner by Claudia McKinney, Aurora Beauty. Brave Soldier is one that I wanted to do last November. I didn't get to it, so I might try. I might. I might try to complete that one in November. We have a Dominic Davidson. This is very old. You guys can see by the sticker sheet just how long some of these have been in my stash. We have Frosty Forest Friend. Lazy Days. I'm not going to turn it around. I'm being lazy. Sneaky Cat. That is a very old school <laughs> diamond art club. I remember at one point this was like their biggest diamond painting ever and everybody was like freaking out about the confetti which it is confetti heavy but at the time it was like unheard of confetti and now I look at some of their new like huge giant releases that have like 70 colors and I'm like us baby diamond painters had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. We have sunbathing kitty Rainbow Flower Petals, another old one. Autumn Stroll, these are the Hanolins that I showed you guys. Crazy Cat Lady, Dahlia, First Snow, Flower Market Girl, Lady Leprechaun, Neptune and Triton, Aliana's Otter, and Summer Nights. Uh, this one is from Image World. I actually got this one when I think they did like a Good Morning America sale and they had marked down some paintings pretty substantially and I'm pretty sure I got this one then. 
a pretty big square. We have In Santorini, Herbalist Helper, Scaredy Cats. I have been wanting to work on this one for like every Halloween since I got this painting, but I, I never do. So maybe this year. We have my Jeremiah Kettner, so Crystal Fox, Evening Light, Night Kitsune, uh, Jody Bergsma, so happy we have each otter. This is an old one. I remember when I got this diamond painting. This is Ready for the Ride. I think this came out my first like holiday season that I was shopping Diamond Art Club. And it was like the first Christmas kit that they had released. And I was like, mine, I want it. <laughs> I don't even have horses. I've never been on a horse. Okay. We have A Mother's Love by JoJo's Art. Uh, Winter Welcome. This was a limited edition kit that I absolutely needed, and I haven't worked on it since. <laughs> Sagittarius by Josephine Wall. I'm very intimidated by this diamond painting. We have a Lighthouse Harbor. Christmas Shells is my next diamond painting. Life is what you bake it. Sea Otters. Oh, I love this one. I forgot about how cute this one was. Look at his little face. Oh, so adorable. I don't know that I'll get to that one this year. Dang it. It's around too. And then Summer Blooms by Lisa Francis Judd. And then we have my second binder. Most of these are Mandy Manzano, so get ready. We have A World Awaits, Beauty and the Beast, Child of Heaven. I love that one. Fixer Uppers. A lot of these are the princess panels, so I apologize if... <laughs> If you get triggered by not being able to get them, there are still a couple on my list that I have not been able to track down, but we have Friend of the Maidens, Giselle, Mama Knows Best. I need to do this time of painting. One Worth Melting for. I've already done the Elsa version. I did that a couple years ago. What, is that chocolate? Jeez, Laura. <laughs> uh, the Bayou Lady, The Beast, The Beauty, my, just seeing this brings back, this is my, or this was my ultimate unicorn for quite a while and I'm just savoring it in my stash. I was toying around with the idea of completing it this year and then I was like, I'm just, I'm just not ready. I want it to live in my stash for a little bit longer. So this is Daughter of Peace. It's such a beautiful diamond painting. Uh, the Desert Princess. This one I should say, um, I did get this one in a D stash. Uh, a member of the diamond painting community had passed away and her family was selling her stash to provide funds for funeral services. So I did pay a pretty penny for this one, but it's not one that I regret spending the money on. First of all, it was my ultimate unicorn, but also to support the family of someone in the diamond painting community at that, like, absolutely horrible time in their lives. I do not regret this time of painting at all. And I think that that's also kind of why it's lived in my stash for a bit because I don't know, it just makes me sad that it belonged to somebody who wasn't able to complete it because they passed away. So someday I will complete this one because it is my ultimate, ultimate unicorn. We have the Desert Princess, fairest of them all I was supposed to work on earlier this year and I didn't. So I'm going to take that off. We have The Fairy, The Little Mermaid, Sleeping Beauty, This Little Light of Mine. I purchased this one and Who You Say I Am because they look just like my nieces. So my oldest niece is blonde and my youngest niece is brunette. So I got these when they were smaller and I just never worked on them. Um, this is, these next couple ones are Amazon exclusive, I think. I got these for Christmas for my dad. I think. Making Friends and Under My Umbrella. We have Adeline by Micah Jelena, which we just saw, and Willa. I have some Puffy Gators. This is A Little Magic. Blue Girl. Halloween Cat, which I have completed from a different company, but curious to see the comparison. We have Lion Cub. Wait a second. Why do I have Jeremiah Kettner's in two spots? You don't belong here. 
here's another Jeremiah Kettner. <laughs> uh, Twilight Vibes. And then I have a couple of uh, kits from... Wait a minute. I feel like my alphabetical order just went right out the door. I thought I had another kit by Olha Darchuk, but I guess I don't. Uh, each soul has a tree. Cat named Poppy. This is an old, old one. Not a care in the world. Wow, that's an old kit. It probably would not come out very well, but that's that's a very old one. I have a couple of Randall Spanglers, which I have not completed any from this artist, but I do have a couple that I really like. We have Bubble Fairies and Cat Bookshelf. Of course, you guys knew I had to get that one. I have some kits from Rita Konya. This is Arctic Fox. I feel like I have another... Something suspicious is going on with my book here. Unless I just didn't pull the sheets. Because I have another... I have a Halloween kit from Rita Konya that I want to work on this year. I'm going to have to do a little hunting. Because this is not... I'm so confused. We have Spirit of the Lake by Roberto Nieto. Here are the Sandra Winthers that we just looked at. And the Sarah Mustafas that we just looked at. I love this one. I've completed kits by Sarah Mustafa before, but I really absolutely fell in love with her artwork this year when I completed Springtime Blossoms. I gushed about that kit for way too long <laughs> in way too many videos. It's actually my favorite kit so far this year. Um, at least it was when I filmed that video. I think we all might know which kit is going to take the, the spot from that one. We have Safina Art. Uh, this is one by Steve Crisp. This is one of the first diamond paintings I bought. Some of these I distinctly remember ordering. That's wild because they're pretty old. We have Christmas Morning. This was a very popular sought after diamond painting for a while. We have a vintage red truck, which is one that has gone on my December schedule for a few years now, and I haven't done it yet. The cat, Midnight Dream, and then Starry Music. These are quite similar. They are by the same artist though. And then I have a couple of, okay, I have a Harry Potter kit. This is the black Hogwarts crest. Fox Wisdom by Willowing Arts, and Petals Fall by Yume Arts. So there's your little sneak peek into my stash. <laughs> uh, this video took a little bit of a turn, but I didn't want it to be super, super short. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I need to do a little bit of a hunt. Uh, I feel like I'm missing a couple of sheets and it could just be that I never took them out of the boxes. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, thank you so much for hanging in with me <laughs> when my schedule goes awry. Uh, but I hope that you guys did enjoy the two videos I was able to post this week. I will be back fingers crossed with my regular schedule for next week, which would mean a either a whip and chat or a kitten chat on Monday. I might possibly finish my giant diamond painting this weekend. So we'll see what happens. But thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope everybody has a great weekend and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.